Hello, my fellow sketchbook schemers. Welcome to another sketchbook tour. I'm very excited to show you sketchbook number seven. Uh, uh, uh. This sketchbook was particularly fun because it included two trips. We took a road trip to Nashville and had about um, almost a week down there and in some other southern places. And then this sketchbook ended with a trip to northern Spain that was just amazing. This was a thumbnail from my Nashville road trip video and a lot of the pages in this sketchbook are related to YouTube videos so I'll link them below if you're interested. We spent a night in Charlottesville, Virginia after going down about halfway on the way to Nashville from Connecticut and we were able to tour Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's home and then we hit the sites in Nashville. Very fun to just hear music, music, music in every place you visited and we had a lot of good food to try. This is another Nashville inspired spread. <laughs> we loved the Museum of African American Music and it was really fun. And this bracelet allowed us to swipe many, many playlists. And we spent the next month or so going through all the playlists, getting a really great sense of history and musical traditions put some ephemera from the trip and a little pocket for some receipts. And then I also did a lot of doodling in this sketchbook. This was a little figurine of an old sailor I had and a figurine of a wolf trying to draw things from different angles. This was, I made artist trading cards for the first time and I swapped with a couple of artists. I'll put their contact information below. There are more available if anyone is interested, but I kind of like them having a home here as well. This was when I designed the cover and painted on the cover for the first time. I made this sketchbook into a hybrid sketchbook by removing the middle section of thick watercolor paper, and I'll use it in my new one. So then I just had watercolor paper in the beginning regular paper in the middle and then watercolor paper in the end. So I put a hybrid, a siren, on the cover. I was pretty happy with how she came out. Not crazy about her face. I liked the faces better in my sketches. And I was a little worried about the wear and tear of having something on the cover, but then again, who cares? <laughs> Doesn't matter. And then I did these watercolors in my backyard right on location. I haven't done much on location. I usually do things from photos or video references. So that was pretty fun. I liked how I used the purple. These were a whole bunch of hostas and some trees. Same backyard and trying kind of a different look. I loved the show Barry. I was pretty sad to see it end because it was just season after season of exciting fun. These didn't come out great, but the show is really great. These were one of the favorite things I did in this sketchbook. I started with this raccoon and I decided to focus on Elizabethan. This costume was inspired by a queen and this anteater this pose was inspired by Hamlet says, alas, poor Yorick, after finding a skull. And I put little ants on the skull. I thought it was pretty cool. I tried getting them made into print on demand stickers. I didn't really like how these came out. They're not very vivid, but I still might pursue stickers for these illustrations. And each one I put a little quote from Shakespeare on it. This was just a bunch of nonsense. I smeared down some paint and then I doodled over it with Posca pen and I did kind of like how it came out. I like the bold lines and a bit of the textured doodles. 
This was total garbage, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm not going out on a limb with that opinion. So was this, I watched the Maverick movie, Tom Cruise, and I don't usually like that kind of movie, but people insisted it was great. It was not great in my opinion, so I just was like scribbling during the whole movie and not really even giving it my full attention, so maybe that's on me. But then afterward, I tried to salvage it a little bit by using some white and some darker lines. Ah, they can't all be winners. I like some of these doodles. This was Venice. This was a person's face at an unusual angle. This was a pigeon, and I kind of liked how I have a lion profile as well. So sometimes with my doodles, I end up liking little pieces of them. I went on an ink kick where I was wetting the paper a lot and letting the ink spread around and then kind of seeing what I can make. This was sort of a Medusa-like figure. And I just love seeing the way the ink spreads and blends. Uh, another ink one that I went over a lot with some black Posca and some white gel pen. And I kind of like this creature a little bit, maybe dragon looking, but kind of like a mosquito type face. And maybe like that's like a setting sun. I don't know. I just love watching the ink do its thing and then seeing what else I can make from it. This was an attempt at sort of a dragon. And I have a dragon later in the sketchbook that was similar technique, but I like it better. I'll show you that in a bit. This was some more doodling. I do kind of like this rooster against maybe the rising sun and he's kind of like, why do I have to get up early anyway? What's that about? Some doodles. For these I found uh, references, copyright free references, and I like how they came out. I like this draft space. I don't really like what I did with the background all that much, but I was just kind of experimenting and sometimes the experiments pay off. I thought this rhino came out pretty good too, the perspective on his head. This one I loved. I found copyright free images from Unsplash and I just remembered that's where those images were from too. And what I really like about it is I do like the look of it and how I used colors that repeated in the two images. And they had been completely separate images that I merged together and I liked how I did that. This was a beach and then these were sand dunes, but it kind of maybe becomes wrinkles in a pillow or something with this baby and its little teddy bear. I like how gentle I was with it. There's no really harsh lines, or I guess there's a few harsh lines, but I like kind of how soft and gentle and blended it is. This was just a doodle. This was a really fun game I came across called uh, Roll a Picasso, and I followed the directions. You roll a die, and then you make the facial features based on what you got randomly and I really liked how these ones came out and I made up little personalities for them. I hated this so that was a good place to kind of tuck this in because I did this on these separate little rectangles of paper. Some more drawing in my backyard and this was from an old calendar I took apart and I liked this one okay but boy oh boy this cute picture somehow turned into that. So I'm going to cover that stuff up. This was fun. I was watching the French Open tennis tournament and I was sketching some of the players I saw. You can kind of see, you can see the background scribbles where I tried to do it live. Tennis players move very quickly. I could not do it. So then I Pulled up references. This was Jesse Pagula, I forget, Sloan Stevens, and I forget. And I just 
tried to kind of salvage the page and practice figure drawing. Some landscapes from my imagination, some loosely based on references. And I just tried to have some variety in how I presented the landscapes. These I loved. I pulled up some Unsplash references. I'll show you them. These first two, I restricted myself to obviously just two colors for the darkest and the lightest parts of the image uh, with a little bit of white for highlight. And I really loved them. I really loved how they came out. And then I tried it again, but I gave myself three colors and I really loved how this one came out. She looks nothing like her reference, but I'm fine with that because I think of it like a springboard for getting started and inspired. And then I really liked this one too, the reference it had a lot of light beams coming down on the face and I guess would you call it a pop art style I'm not sure but then I put in these paisley doodles too and I just love these four I didn't record making them and I'm like oh I wish I recorded that and then I made another one I'm like oh I really should have recorded that and then the third and the fourth and I recorded none of them it's okay not everything has to be a video of course this was just kind of experimental play but I do love the gold with the different shades of blue. This was from a photo I took in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam that I really loved and I do kind of like it. I had put down ink and let it bleed around and it's just a little unexpected I guess to have these glasses over that background but I kind of like it. And then I made a cutout to show this eye that I made. It didn't really come out as cool as it was in my imagination, but it's okay. This is a diner that has nice breakfast near where I live in Plainville, Connecticut. And we go there with one of our sons a few times. They probably have nice lunches too, but I've never been there for lunch. These were inspired by another artist. I did these ones first, where she used black acrylic against pastel watercolors and then drew flowers and things over them. So this was directly inspired by her. And then this one was using faces instead of flowers. And then I did another one too with animals. Now we're back into the watercolor paper in this hybrid sketchbook. And this page I just added in to save my transfer paper and sketch of an old royal typewriter. I was inspired by James Gurney, the great artist of the Dinotopia books, and he has a great YouTube channel. And I used his same color palette pretty much and his techniques for trying to draw an old typewriter. And it was just a fun project because it had been so gunked up and dirty and I cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and my husband got involved. He fixed a part that was broken, took the part and put it back together. It was really fun to have that beautiful old typewriter all cleaned up and operational again. And then this is the dragon I mentioned before that I started with a whole bunch of loose ink and then I drew the face and the wing and I kind of in my imagination the face, the head and the wing are well defined because the eyewitnesses saw it but they were panicked villagers and the rest just went by in a fast blur and they couldn't even remember what it looked like. Or I just can't draw legs. One of those explanations. <laughs> and then this was inspired by Kipto, a YouTuber I really love. He does tra traditional art too, and he also does a lot of street art and murals all around the world. And I bought his stickers and I tried to kind of do one of his murals. And then this is my Spain travel journal. I just got back recently and was exhausted and 
I did some of the art in Spain and then I had some of it to finish up when I got home. And that's my favorite video ever if you want to check it out. A lot of the sights and sounds from northern Spain and then showing the art that inspired this travel journal. So I just showed like kind of my favorite parts of each day. This is an accordion uh, journal. I had actually cut it out and brought just this because the rest of the sketchbook was done and I didn't want to risk like losing it or whatever might happen. So I taped it back in when I got home. Not ideal, but my sketchbook was safe. Here's the accordion view of it. And then you flip it and you can see the rest of it. We had an awesome trip to Spain, traveling through northern Spain. Great food, great art, great friendships. We were with a group tour for part of it. And then we were on our own in some days in Barcelona and Madrid. So really, really an awesome, awesome trip. I loved it. And if you want to check out that video, you could. So let me know what you think. I'd be curious to hear what your favorite part was or if you have any questions. And I'm very appreciative of any views, likes, or comments. And I want you to take care. I'm deep into my eighth one already because I started it before our trip to Spain and then I had reserved those pages for the Spain trip. So be on the lookout for another sketchbook tour coming to you. And maybe one more shot of bullet. Ooh, I kind of like those drops. Done. <laughs>